What's going on guys? It's Caleb and I'm back with another video. So I want you guys to know I read your comments. I really do every single one of them and I usually try to respond to them as well. I got a good comment last week and I thought I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make a video about that. So if you guys have comments that you want me to see, go ahead and leave them and maybe we'll make a video based on what you guys have to say. So this particular comment was about how I do my shading on Illustrator. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you guys through my normal process and show you how I do it. Let's get into it. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to place the ball of my kendama on my desk. I've got the light coming from the left hand side casting a shadow on the bottom right. I'm going to take a picture of that, drop it into my iPad and lower the opacity. This is going to allow me to duplicate exactly what I'm seeing so I know I got my shadows and highlights exactly right. I'm going to duplicate that sphere. I'm going to use the shape builder tool and that'll give me my shadow on the bottom right hand side. I'm going to turn that black, lower the opacity and it's just as easy as that to get my shadows. So now I'm going to start working on the highlight from the top left side. That's where the light source is coming from. All it is is a sphere. Uh, you can draw it. You can use a, a circle tool. It's up to you. We're going to turn it white, lower the opacity, and now we have our highlight. I'm going to put an outline on this just because I like the way the outline looks. And I'm going to start working on the shadow that the ball is casting onto the desk. So I got my picture back in here for reference, and if you see at the bottom of the base, the shadow is going to be a little bit darker than the casted version. Um, so I'm going to make two different spheres and have the opacities at different strengths. And this is pretty much uh, as easy as it gets for getting the shadows and highlights onto objects. I've got the light coming in on the top left side just to visualize where the light source is coming from. Um, but it's, easy, it's as easy as that, guys. That's how you get your shadows and your highlights. I like to take that sphere and uh, duplicate the layer, throw it on top, put no fill in there, and then that way I can have my highlights and my shadows hidden. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you how fun highlights and shadows can be by using uh, something that you guys are probably pretty familiar with. This is going to be a Pokeball, and uh, this is just a cool real world application of where those shadows and highlights come into play. It's going to take a very simple shape, but something super recognizable like a Pokeball, and it's going to make it look really nice and polished. Uh, if you see right here, it's the same shape. Everything's the exact same as what I had on the ball earlier, but now it's a Pokeball. We're going to add a, a couple shadows here and there, um, but this just shows you how cool uh, those shadows and highlights can be and how much better they make your piece look. So this was a lot of fun. I really like Pokemon and I thought this would be cool to do, and I like how this turned out. Well guys, here's that final design. It's something so simple, but you see those highlights and those shadows really take it to the next level and give it a lot more depth. If you guys have any more questions about how shadows and highlights work, I can do a more in-depth video, but this is a really good base to let you know how shadows and highlights are gonna work. You have to have one common light source and you gotta have a certain way that shadows are gonna be casted. And I thought a sphere would be a great way to show you guys how this works. Well guys, that's all I got for you today. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. And if you want to see more content like this in the future, make sure you're subscribed. If you want to see content like this now, you can just go back to my older videos. I have a ton of illustrations, logo designs, rebrands. Check it out. If you want to get a hold of me, I'll have my Discord link below. It's a great place for us to chat and just talk design. Well guys, I appreciate you being here. Until the next time, peace.